In this video, I will go over how to set up a Z-Stack and how to apply different Z-Stacks to various regions of interest in LASX Navigator. So the way to set up a Z-Stack is the same as you would in the normal interface. Under the image window, you want to select Z. That will open a dialog that for the Z-Stack. Traditionally, a lot of people like to set the beginning and the end. So let's just go ahead and do that. Zoom in on our area of interest. We can go live. Using my smart move, I will set a beginning, which is just one end of the focus. Then I will focus on the other side of these neuronal cultures. And this ends up with a Z stack of 7.5 approximately. If I zoom in, this is where I am in my Z stack. I'm still live, so I can drag this through the whole Z-Stack to show where I am. Now let's say if I'm not happy with the Z-Stack, what I could do is just go to where I think is the center of the focus and I can hit recenter. And now when I expand this wheel, I'll be right in the middle of my Z-Stack. Recenter is not to be confused with go to center which is a way for you to just check the center of your stack. Now, the other thing that a lot of people overlook is the stack direction. So usually you want to go from the bottom up, basically against gravity. This will give you the most precision when it comes to Z movement. But if you end up setting up your uh, beginning and end in opposite directions, sometimes this will change to up to down, so you might want to keep an eye on this. If you don't want to set beginning and end, what you could do is, if you know the size of your Z-Stack and you want to say, this is the middle and I always want to collect this many microns above and this many microns below, then what you can do under Z size is just enter a number. So now it puts where your point was in right in the middle. And again, you can just check the stack by going up and down. The next option here is to look at your number of steps, Z step size and system optimized. So I always leave it on system optimized because on most wide field systems, this isn't too laborious. Um, but if you, for some reason, want to save time or you don't care so much about your Z sampling, then you can go ahead and change this. I wouldn't double this Z step size. Uh, I wouldn't go over, for in this case, one micron. That would really end up under sampling your Z. Now that we've set up our Z stack, let's go ahead and hit start. You can see as it's acquiring, it's moving through in real time on this diagram. And if we look at our image, we end up with a file that has 17 slices and we can move through them with this Z. Now, what if you want to have different Z stack sizes for different areas? So for instance, we have this neuronal cell culture on a cover slip and we maybe want to look at this one, this one, and this one. So we currently have these three tasks under our task list. To visit the first one, double click, open up our Z-Stack, trash the Z-Stack. So that's always a good practice is to trash can the Z-Stack before you start a new one to sort of clear it. Okay, to set up different Z-Stacks for different regions, let's uncheck this box, same stack size for all regions. And now you can see that this redefined Z shows up under our task list. This becomes very important. So let's go ahead and hit live. And I'm gonna set the Z-Stack. So when I'm done here, I'm going to hit redefine stack. And you can see this little cube appears next to this image. Now, if I double click to go to the next one, again, I'll trash can, begin, and, and I'll hit redefine stack, rinse and repeat for the last one, trash can, begin, 
end. Okay, so now I have three different cubes next to each image. And just to double check that these are correctly set. So if I click on these different ones, it shows me the different Z-Stack. So they have reset to each individual Z-Stack that I've set. And now I can hit Start. So I'll run the Z-Stacks for each region. You can see that each Z stack is in focus. So that's how you set different Z stacks for different regions of interest.